It's me. It's part three. NVD. In 3D. It's VIM 3D. So it's part three. It's the solution. I was gonna say, did I miss something? No, you didn't. I didn't. So we, so so we are continuing, continuing the text message that was sent to us in reply to our letter that we inquired about possibly gaining, you know, resolution to the computer that we took in good condition that was wrecked by to the com computer, computer doctors. doctors in Colton, California. Yes. Okay. Um. So. This is Nikki, the really owner of the shop. Let me explain to you. People go to doctor. They can have the problems, too. Doesn't mean the doctor hurt him. If the patient go to court for this, the judge will ask why the doctor want to hurt you. Is he going to get something by doing this? If, if judge think the doctor did by careless, he will ask how this happened. Did the doctor did anything wrong to make this happen? If you can't answer those two questions, judge can't help you get to get judge can't help you to get money from the doctor. He is just my technician. Everybody here just work for me. I don't care what they are talking about me as long as they do good job. I roughly them how deal with those customers who want make a little excuse to make big money, but it looks they still not good at it so I'm here handle this myself go to TV people are not go to TV people are not stupid they understand what you are doing right away they only get shame on yourself you and then I said you can tell it to the judge this is unprofessional I have documentation from the company that installed my new hard drive that you damaged the world will know about your bad business you just your disrespect and your lack of accountability I'm not trying to I, I don't I'm not trying to get money I want justice then they say go to judge see what you can get don't waste time here you know you can't get anything from judge that's why you try to scare us I was in business for 30 years everybody know I am smart honest doesn't matter one or two bad people try to mess up go to judge let the judge teach you I, re I have two businesses really don't have time to waste I am not and then I tell them I'm not trying to scare you. You are scared because you are wrong. Keep incriminating yourself. You will lose your license to do business in this country. I have nothing more to say to you. We'll see, um, say, to say you will see me in court with all of my evidence of your incompetence. We will be making videos talking about the bad service of your, co of your company until this is resolved. Then they say, go ahead. Don't waste my time. If judge don't give you a penny, don't cry. Well, we will not lose anything more more than you. Wait, yeah. We will not lose anything more than you. You will pay the court and waste your time. I said you will also be reported to the Better Business Bureau. All of these texts will be published just as they're being published right now on YouTube. Um, then he says... This went on for like four hours, right. y'all. Maybe more than that. I mean... I mean, this, this started to act, this was a business transaction right. that we went into as adults and it started to really get very ignorant, you know, as we were starting to regain our computer because of the time and just irresponsibility. And now it sounds like it's something, uh, some kind of ignorant, you know, thing that happened on the computer and people going back and forth that are emotional and ignorant. But look, first he says that he's never had, you know, that he's never had any bad customers. But then he says, 30 years, I never lose one case. So he must have been sued before, right? Never did anyone talk bad about my business. I said, well, there's a first time for everything. He says, go ahead. You can just report how stupid you are. Okay, go ahead. I said, the world will know of your lack of professionalism. It's like we pay for our computer to get wrecked and and to be um, what disrespected. I mean, we paid for our computer to actually get wrecked and to get disrespected, and that's what's sad about this. I mean, it's like the reason why we come in forward, you know, so honestly and so Hard. completely is because this is we, all we got. If we don't start to gain respect, people. For each and every person and start to value each and every person's, you know, ability to gain respect, 
you know, it's not going to be provided. It's not going to be given. If we continue to allow this to happen, respect is earned or is taken. Sometimes, it, it, you know, you know, it's given after, after, after you, it's, 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 it's seen to be respected. So I say the world will know your lack of professionalism. I don't need your permission. I have already begun. Stay tuned. Thank you for all of the proof of your unethical business. He says just stop sending message. If you keep doing this, we will call police and tell them that you threaten us for money and show your text messages and your mail as proof. If you want money, go to court. After you lose the case, I suggest you beg on the street for money. I said, we will be reading all of your texts and showing them on video. Now you get worldwide exposure of your own stupidity. Please call the police. I never threatened you. I asked you to do the right thing, and you insulted me. Please call the police immediately. He says, you know... You know you cannot win this case if you go to court. That's why you threaten us another way. I'll go to the police station tomorrow and file charges against you for threatening me. I said, please make sure to take these texts with you so that the police could see the truth. This is not a threat. I am telling you exactly what I'm doing. I am telling you that I'm going public about what you did. I have no fear. He says... Yes, I will. If you want money, you should not bother me. You just need to go to court and respect judge's decision. After you lose the case, judge will decide who is right, who is wrong. I said, I can tell that you're not bothered or worried. That's why you continue to text. Stop now. Um, he says... We have your mail. It shows, and now at this point, now listen to the language because now they've cho they're talking. They give the, they gave their phone to somebody else to come and deal with us, right? Some okay. Some of talk is choppy. It's okay. More, it's more fluid. So then, and I believe that this person is the technician that worked on our computer, Armando. Okay. <laughs> so um, so I said he says. We have your mail. It shows explicitly that you want money and your texts are additional proof that shows you are threatening me continuously. Charges will be, thre charges will be threatening me, obstructing my business. Police will take care of you tomorrow. Thanks for all the evidence. I said, you're welcome. My husband and I will meet you with the police tomorrow. Hope you guys don't, and then he says, hope you guys don't go to jail again. I said, wow, you don't stop with the insults. Keep them coming. And then he says, I'm pretty sure this is not the first time you were threatening people for money and trying to obstruct business. So you can tell that now this is obviously another person texting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody I said, has a little broader vocabulary. And I said, I'm glad you got one of your technicians to text, to text, to text. For you Armando if this is you prepare to take your ass to court I didn't say take your ass I said prepare for court you were the one who worked on my computer so um, that was the that text, was the return from a professional company that has not just one um, business of operation but two businesses of operations and this was the first contact that we had with them after they destroyed this computer you know it's like and the reason that we did not do it sooner. Y'all already know the deal. Look at our um, video okay. account here, our archives. We were in court fighting because Mike's father is paralyzed in a hospital, has been there for a year already, and that's what we were dealing with. So with not being able to... I think they to, knew that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they knew that. Because we told them about it. I'm pretty sure they knew that. That's what's so sad about this, y'all. Look, this, this was not one time that they gave a resolution. This has been no accountability, a denounce of responsibility, and a, a complete personal disrespect in their regard. And, 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 and it's sad because they're still telling us to steal, and that's still not the resolution of this problem, because really this problem will be a, a new computer or the money total for the purchase of a new computer. Because, because you can't restore yeah, what they, you, you damaged on, my hard on, drive. Because they're still telling us to now go, which is not yet, to go check to our hard, yeah. hard drive, which we already spent more than enough time, money, and gas in, in regards to this company. And it's sad to sit here and listen to this because they said, if you didn't listen closely, they said they have two businesses. So they can definitely spare the expense to repair this computer and make this wrong right, I would say. Don't you think? So it's going to be interesting. I hope that, you know, people can call in and, and, and express their, um, you know, the, the unfair, you know, um, um, energy, the unfair ethics that, that has been, that existed with this. What the I computer would, doctors. What I would like, what I would like to ask 
for um, for the people that are watching this video no matter where you are in the world if you have experienced something like this and you want to help us get justice all you have to do is call the computer doctors in Colton California and let them know aka super deals aka super deals <laughs> and let the, and just tell them to do the right thing yeah, do the right thing do the right that's thing that's yeah. all we're not we're not asking for extra money we're not we want to be made whole yeah. We went in there yeah. and we trusted that they yeah. were going to take care of exchanging our keyboard and giving us another keyboard. We had a brand new Toshiba hard drive, 500 gigabytes. And now we're reduced to 300 gigabytes with none of the programs that we had in our computer. We have you know what? a business have to, to give run. Them some more for part four. We still ain't done. We're going to have to give them a little more. And I think that's going to be enough to, to close it out. It's VIM3D Radio. It's Reality Radio. Just so you know, we gone. I'm going to give you their phone number, but i got to make sure that this is the business number because I don't want to do anything illegal. So, um, But you can find it at the... At, oh, it's, look them up. Um, the look them up. Yeah. It's Computer Doctors yeah. in Colton, California. Yeah. And their number happens to have a triple six in it. I don't know what that means, but Man. there it is there. there it is so there. we are out of here. I'm not really going to say anything more about this. We don't have nothing else to, to say about this. We'll keep you updated on the webathon. I just wanted to say, this is like my favorite movie, y'all. Look up The Legend of Billie Jean. I want a new computer. Give me my new computer. I see you, computer doctors. I know the way you're looking. I know where you're speaking. Any negativity that comes to me is sent back to the giver 13 times. 13 pains to anybody who exists. Outside of love.